WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network. Four o'clock uh, market close, and we're looking at the Dow with a zero percent change. I used to do studies years ago when I did hand charting in pencil and, and ruler on engineering paper, and I used to circle in all those zero percent changes back when the Dow was at 2700 or something like that, or uh, even lower. It was far easy to find, but a zero percent change plus 0.53. At 33,596 is the perfect indecisive moment. And I'll have it for my subscribers tomorrow in my opening call. We'll be talking about that. Most importantly, the S&P is down seven. So the, the, the Dow was pretty much all over the show in a narrow range today, but underneath the 14 period moving average. That's not so good. I want to see it back over the 33,900. That's going to be real tough to do at 33,596, but it has to hold 33,380, that's kind of key support in the short term. Looking at the S&P down seven at 39.33, uh, a doji candle day. Is this a halfway marker for a move down or a reversal for a bounce to the upside? We'll see soon enough. The resistance is at 39.88. We're trading at 39.33. That's a long way to go to the upside. 3,900 is going to be key support. QQQ, NDX 100. Trading uh, at 280.53, down a dollar 15. Kind of slowed its downward move today, but it is uh, it's making lower lows, and that's important. So most importantly, it's that weekly chart we want to see in December, some period to go above 295, preferably 298. That's a long way to go because 272 is going to be key support. IWM, the Russell 2000. Also very weak here, down 46 cents and 179.61. The the small caps haven't shown any buying bids. But look at the gold. Gold is up 17 at 1800, <clears throat> trying to go for a leg D above 1821. We'll see if it's able to do that. It's holding the 200 period moving average. It's stuck in the 200 period moving average, like a sine wave, up and down and up like a yo-yo. We'll see what happens there. I didn't do silver in the show when I did Tom O'Brien show a moment ago. Silver's acting very well, 22.91. It needs to get to the 2350 to say, hey, I've even got more to the upside. Looking at crude oil, crude oil had a very, very weak day. It closed down almost two at 72.32, making lower lows and lower highs. And bonds, the TLT uh, shows you that yields are coming down sharply. This is a very strong move. Have a wonderful rest of the day. See you tomorrow. Tom will be back. <laughs>